over the last 10 years, those who are self-employed have accounted for probably half of the job growth in New York City. And, and one of the things, and, and we kind of came about it uh, in looking at it and analyzing it in a very different way, as we looked at unemployment numbers, which over a period of time had gone up, uh, but the number of employed people in New York City rose. And it wasn't just, you know, as I said, you can have ups and downs, but there were some things that threw us off. And as we were going back and forth in the office, and then you came down, you started to break down other numbers rather than just the unemployment numbers. And lo and behold, so much of what has driven New York City's growth in the last 10 years are those who are self-employed. And one of the things that was amazing, if you look at the growth over a period of time and analyze the numbers from the mid-1970s, from 1976, the number was about 8% of our city's workforce was self-employed, the number today is 16%. So it is a much larger group of individuals who are self-employed and a number that continues to grow in New York City and be of major importance to this city's future and economy. Why is it a good thing uh, for a city? Well, first, as I point out, that's a big piece of our job growth. In addition to that, it is, if, as we've looked at self-employed individuals and they've come to New York City, a larger group of those are younger people. So many of those are, are well-educated. And in addition to things, uh, a lot of the creative talent in New York City these days continues to be those who are self-employed. So it adds to the vitality of our city. It adds to uh, just the growth and the economic growth of our city. And uh, you know, just to, to cut it to one sentence, it's good for New York City's future.